The muon is a tiny particle with a fleeting lifetime, but it's making big headlines in science. The results of an experiment at the Fermi National Accelerator suggest that the muon doesn't behave as it should, at least not according to the best explanation we have of how the universe works at a fundamental level, the so-called standard model. That's got physicists excited because if these results continue to hold up over the next year or two, they may need to be explained in terms of new particles or other phenomena that lie outside the standard model. The experiment in question is the muon G-2 experiment at Fermilab. It looks at how muons circling around an accelerator interact with a strong magnetic field. Results published in April 2021 point to a discrepancy between what the standard model says should happen during these interactions and what's actually been measured. How sure can we be that the results are real? One possibility which several groups of theorists are now checking is that the predicted value for the so-called G-factor, or magnetic dipole moment, of a muon has been figured out incorrectly. Some calculations carried out using a technique called lattice quantum chromodynamics or lattice QCD have produced a value for G that agrees with the new experimental results. Other theorists using a different approach known as R ratio come up with a value for G that's out of kilter with both the Fermilab measurements and earlier ones made using the same apparatus at Brookhaven National Laboratory. If theorists eventually agree that there is a discrepancy between the calculated value for G and the value measured by the recent experiments, how much can we trust those experiments? Scientists use a statistical measure called standard deviation, or sigma, to quantify how unlikely it is that a set of results is simply due to chance. The results announced in April are at a level of 4.2 sigma, which equates to a probability of 99.7% that this isn't just some statistical fluke. The gold standard, at which it's considered that an actual discovery can be claimed, is 5 sigma, equivalent to a 99.977% degree of confidence. So now researchers are crunching through all the rest of the data collected by the muon G2 experiment, even using supercomputers that may take them a couple of years. If it does turn out that the anomaly is real, and the standard model can't explain it, then there are several possibilities, all involving previously unknown physics. One is supersymmetry, an extension to the standard model in which each of the known fundamental particles in nature has a partner particle. Among the attractions of supersymmetry, is that the lightest supersymmetric particle would be a promising candidate for dark matter. Another way to explain the muon G-2 results is that some undiscovered relatively heavy form of matter interacts strongly with muons. Or it could be that some kinds of exotic lightweight particles, again as yet unknown, interact with the muons, but weakly. Since these particles would have existed since the Big Bang, their discovery would have cosmological implications because they would have affected how fast the universe expanded in its first few moments. Any major discovery at the subatomic level would also affect our understanding of physics on the largest scale simply because the forces that control the evolution and destiny of the universe are mediated by fundamental particles. Other clues as to what lies beyond the standard model may come from the Large Hadron Collider. Over the next few years, it will be upgraded to a higher luminosity so that it can produce more collisions and therefore more possibilities for detecting previously unknown particles and interactions. Getting excited over a slight discrepancy in the way a tiny particle like the muon behaves may seem over the top. But in science, slight differences between observation and existing theory often presage major breakthroughs.